Hi and welcome to the new episode in series of Home Assistant in Docker running on Synology. Today we are going to install Node-RED. We'll start in 10 seconds. First thing we have to do, we have to connect to our Synology server via terminal. Let's log in. Okay. Next thing what we have to do is we have to create an additional folder for the Node-RED. So let's change to our uh, volume one Docker folder. And let's make a new folder named Node-RED. Now let's type the commands to download and install Node-RED from the Docker Hub. So it's sudo superuser do docker run. Uh, we will uh, once again connect terminal and start it in a daemon or detached mode. We will name this container uh, Node-RED. Next we will instruct the docker so that it restarts uh, this container every time it fails. Always. Uh, for the network, once again, we will define uh, that we'll be using a host IP address, so IP address of the Synology server, that equals host. Although I know we do not have to define port and it will be discarded, but uh, this setting will be saved and later on we will be able to see it either in the Docker uh, inside the Synology or in Portainer. So let's define port for the Node-RED. Uh, standard port is 1880 and we will connect it with the 1880 uh, inside the Docker container. Next, let's define time zone. Once again, I will be using my time zone. So it's Europe and Zagreb. Now we will attach volume we just created or folder we just created. So it's volume one, Docker, node red with the internal data folder inside the container. And the last part of command should be the name of the Docker image we want to download from the Docker Hub. So it's node red, node red. If you ever tried to download a Node-RED image, Docker image before, you may notice that image is now called differently. Before we had minus Docker, but since the release version of, since the release of uh, 1.0, uh, the name of the image changed to Node-RED. Let's start the download. And Node-RED has been downloaded, extracted and installed. Okay, uh, next thing we have to do, uh, let's check the, uh, let's check the portainer, Node-RED. And yes, as you can see, we're having issues with the uh, user rights or permissions. So let's go back to Node-RED, let's stop it. And we will now go back into the uh, terminal and work on our privileges. So in order to fix this issue, and this is known issue uh, uh, with the Docker image, especially if you, for example, use it earlier and already had uh, folders created. We didn't have this, but nevertheless, we have the same issue. To resolve it, we will change ownership of the files. So super users do. C-H-O-W-N, change owner, recursive, and we will change uh, owner of the file to 1000, and this user is member of the group also called 1000. And we will implement this on our 
newly created folder, so it's volume 1, docker, node red. Okay, let's now go back into the portainer. Let's start it. And let's check log files. Well, everything is okay. So, node red is up and running. Let us now try and test it. One eight eight zero, and we have Node Red uh, graphical user interface up and running. If you want, you can of course add some components or modules uh, to the Node Red. Uh, that way, you can uh, add, for example, uh, some nodes that already exist for example for home assistant you have here uh, components that allow you to connect for example i i myself am using this uh, node so i have a connection between synology surveillance station on one side and home assistant on the other side when i have uh, triggers based on the activity on the camera i trigger the uh, face recognition software to try and recognize who is in front of my house so if it's a family member or not but this is it for this episode of the home assistant in docker on Synology if you have any kind of a comment or a question or idea please leave it down below in the comment section if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe if you like this video of course give me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you next time in another video Home Assistant in Docker on Synology. Thank you, bye-bye, and until the next time, have fun.